This screening, screen recording is going to walk you through how to recover uh, video files and for that matter you could recover audio files as well off of an iPod. Um, I actually have some movies that I have on this iPod that I would like to that I would like to bring back. Uh, I've lost the files, I don't know where they're at, or my hard drive that had copies of those uh, have died, so I'd like to reclaim those. Uh, so what we're going to walk through is a couple of different ways to do that. First off, um, if you go into Finder and then you go underneath the iPod, you're not necessarily going to be able to see anything as far as where are the music or uh, video files. So what we're going to do is we're going to open uh, Finder. And then what we're going to do is we are going to type in a command. Try to orientate that so it's easy to see. All right, so we've typed that in. I'm now going to hit enter. And it obviously has uh, reset. However, it hasn't updated Finder for me yet. So I'm going to kill all Finder. That's going to reopen Finder with the new settings. Now you can see that there are folders that were hidden. They're now available for viewing. If you go under iPod Control and you go under Music, you can now see all of the different folders. Uh, there's uh, MP3s are obviously audio. M4As are also audios. Uh, M4Vs are the video files that we're looking for. Uh, so what I can do now is I could open another Finder window, set it up, go to my movies. I could start dragging these one by one. If you've got quite a few, that can be cumbersome. So what we're going to do here, we're actually going to close that. And then uh, I am actually in my home folder. So what we're going to do, if you want to uh, do a more automated way, uh, I'm going to walk you through some uh, quick command line items. So you're going to want to list, obviously I'm with where I'm at, I can see with this, in particular with this squiggle line that I am uh, in my home folder. So what I want to do is change directory dot dot slash dot dot. That'll bring me back to the root directory, just signified by the slash. Uh, I'm going to list, just make sure where I'm at. Where I want to go is this actual volumes folder. So I'm going to do a CD for change directory. I'm going to start to type volumes and then hit tab. It'll autocomplete. I'll hit enter. I'm now in the volumes directory. Uh, I'm going to list again and I can see my iPod there, the D skippers iPod. I'm going to do another CD and I'm going to do a D slash space in order, and then tab. Now that you do the slash before the space, if there's a space in the name, I'm going to hit enter. I've now changed. I'm going to actually set up this command uh, and that command will actually copy everything into the directory and it will auto copy it. So what it's going to do is it's going to, this is saying find underneath the current directory within iPod control and music, look for files that are named M4V at the end. After you find those files, you need to execute those files and copy those to your home directory movies. So what we're going to do, is we're actually going to open that up. We're going to go to movies and switch back. I am going to hit return to execute this command and then we will wait uh, and now we can see we should be able to see uh, here momentarily we will we just saw one pop up so impv.m4v is starting to copy we can see there's 0 KB on disk it is actually just started uh, these files can actually be pretty large if you have quite a few of them it's going to take a while you'll know it's finished when you come back to the command prompt here if it's just sitting here blinking on a blank line, it's still running. Um, you'll want to let this go for a while if you have quite a few different files that you need to copy, but as you watch, you'll be able to see the additional, fi additional files copy in. You could also use this uh, command by changing the M4V to an MP3, and that would actually copy all of your audio files, and you could change the target directory as well. So hopefully this uh, tutorial has been helpful and hopefully it will help you cover, recover some files from an old iPod.